Hi, Dr. Sarah Sewell here from Resilience Rx, and tonight we are going to talk about how to use your abdominal muscles in a high level way. So, if planks are easy, sit ups are easy, you can do like 100 sit ups and you're fatigued when you're done, but you're not really challenged and you're looking for a way to generate more power, more strength with your abdominal muscles. This exercise here on the GHD, also known as the glute ham developer, because it develops your glute muscles and your hamstring muscles, as well as your ab muscles, but that's not part of the name. Um, and an exercise we're gonna do on the parallettes are really good for developing higher level abdominal strengthening or really challenging yourself. I will preface this by saying that if you don't have a very good abdominal strength or you don't have a very good foundation, I would not start here. It can make you, doing GHD sit-ups can make you incredibly sore if you do too many too soon. Um, I didn't believe it when someone told me that and I learned the hard way. So trying to save you guys the pain of learning the hard way um, and I would say even like 25 reps on this to start is a pretty high number. So for this to ease into the sit up, you can start simply by going to parallel. You can hold this position. If you feel pretty comfortable here, you can kick up and you will hear a little bit of a bang or noise. That's normal. That's an indication that you're doing it right. What you don't wanna do is this. Not very fast, not very explosive. You want that explosive kick because that means you're using your quads to help pull you up. Your quads are the muscle on the front of your thigh and you wanna use that muscle because if you're not, you're gonna use a different muscle that's also a hip flexor. So there's a muscle called the rectus femoris, which is part of the quad muscle that attaches on your hip and your knee. You wanna use that hip flexor and not the iliopsoas, which originates on your back and attaches on your hip. If you use the psoas and you do a lot of repetitions on the GHD, you can end up with back pain because in this position, pulling on your back to pull you up is going to cause a lot of shear forces. Now I can do a couple reps, no problem, no dis comfort, but if I start repping out reps like that, over time that can accumulate and lead to discomfort or an injury. So if you're feeling pretty comfortable here, you can increase the range of motion of the sit-up by going all the way down like this. Again, <laughs> nice and forceful. My hair goes everywhere. You string those together, do a couple repetitions, and it's going to be pretty taxing. Now we're gonna to move to the parallettes, which is another good abdominal exercise. So this one isn't gonna be as much about power development as it is about sheer strength. You're gonna put the parallettes about shoulder width apart, hands on here, and you're gonna lift your legs up straight in front of you. Here, I can hold here with my shoulders not engaged, or I can engage my shoulders and go up. So there's a difference there. You want to hold with the shoulders engaged. So you want to hold like this, not like that. If you hold the other way, you're just jamming this bone up into the top of the shoulder joint, putting a lot of unneeded pressure on the rotator cuff. So you always want to push down. That's going to open up that space where the rotator cuff passes through and not put extra stress on it. For this, if you can hold this for about two minutes, your ab strength is doing pretty dang good. If you have any questions about how to strengthen your abs or an injury that is nagging you that you have questions about, feel free to message me and have a great night.